Hello and welcome back to Bionic Dews. Um, we are just biding our time until the final attack. Honestly, we could have done some of these robot command centers, but as I mentioned um, much earlier in the series, I kind of wanted to see the whole 50 days. 50 days strikes me as very odd. It's a, it's a very arbitrary feeling value. I guess that's maybe how much, how long they wanted it to be, that it didn't feel like it was drawn out too long, but didn't make it feel like you could beat the campaign in three hours. I don't know. Like, even in world, I was thinking about in world, first and foremost, is just like, why would the bots pick 50? <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. So, what missions do we want to do? I don't really need more equipment. Um, it's just... I've just got whole warehouses full of the crap. Um, it feels like we should do some challenges for fun, right? Um, let's do a Lion's Den mission. What have we got? Interesting. Hunter bots already triggered, obviously. Ninja bots, blaster bots, silence bots. Mostly those. Nice funnel here, though. Like, really nice. Let's get a little bit closer, get as much vision as possible. But time it. Okay. Time to let's let's save before I do the dumb thing. Now we whistle and switch to the siege. And fire the plasma cannon. Well, maybe not. Maybe not just yet. Hunterbot's fine. He's not gonna hurt me. That hurt a little. I really should have improved his... Oh, hello. Um, I didn't expect you there. But I suppose that's the point, isn't it? Is that a waste? Should I just use the rocket? Yeah, let's use the rocket launcher instead. I switch to the science bot and pick these guys off. Yeah. Oh, it's blowing up his invisible friends. That's extra handy, actually. Ugh, this camera. Man. Okay. Back to the siege. How many we got? There's a few. Maybe use the... Uh, the grenade launcher actually has less range than I thought. All right. 
it. Ah, asshole. All right, how many of you invisible, how many more invisible guys are there? That's my concern. We had a mission not that, well, some episodes back where it was just dozens of them continuing to pick at my, uh, pick at my guys long after they should have given up on it. All right, time to make a save, because this is looking like it might actually be a bit of a trial. I didn't think it was going to be quite this big. Hunter bot coming after me. doors to hide a super secret door apparently drives all Boston sensor range berserk uh, nope I will pass on that one uh, restores exo shields could be handy speaking of which well we've got the time to pace around a little bit Very nearly got shot. What a travesty that would have been. Okay, I think if I whistle, I'll get... Oh, no, I'll get everybody. <laughs> All right. Let's save again and do that. That was a little bit rough. I should have switched and then moved. Though I suppose that wouldn't necessarily have fixed my core issue there, huh? Um, okay, I think it's time to pull out the plasma cannon. Okay. Do a little walk back and forth for some regen. Uh, and actually, that should, oh, there's one. Uh, of course, there's more hide bots. Why wouldn't there be? It's funny, all things considered, this wasn't that difficult. I mean, I know I've, like, overbuilt my weapon systems to hell, but still. You know what? Let's go for it. Regen myself. I earned it. Power adapter. The old emitter. And I believe that's everything. Alright. Let's see. Mostly 18, 19, 20. Okay, what did we get? Handy. That's pretty... That's the most...
powerful reactor we've seen, I think. I think the most we had seen before that was 990, with the exception of the one that was self multiple. Oh, wait a minute. No, yeah. It's with the exception of the one that was self multiplying, right? Uh, this one. Which does recursive math. Because, you know, God forbid you actually show your work. Um, yeah, but it's not doing any boosting, any power production boosting, so it's just. It straight up is the most powerful engine we've reactor we've seen maybe maybe there's an extra cap at level 25 that surpasses the other normal caps um, reduce power but, or increase power but sacrifice uh, attack power it's funny they all they all give 30 percent attack power um yeah i guess not worth it let's see if anybody else <laughs> produced less power um but increase some shield stats that's actually under the circumstances that's a good thing because i don't need that extra power at least not at the moment So we could consider that on the Siege. Uh, it's a flat upgrade for the Ninja, which is no surprise. Because it's the Ninja and I don't care about it. Alright, you know what? Let's throw that in there. Now that uh, self-multiplying thing is up for grabs. It's a green item too, which is kind of a shock. Boy, it sure would be nice if there was a better way to sort these things instead of now having to hunt down the... <laughs> well, it's lost to the void now because I don't know what number it was. Uh, Alright. Oh well. Um, attack part all opens in 106 regen. Not likely... Oh, well, yeah, if I want to lose all my power production. And it's on the ninja, so who cares? Uh, not for the stealth action and trap level. Well, actually, I don't need 40 stealth actions. Trap skill level is questionable, but honestly, for an additional 200... 224 uh, regen. Well, hopefully I'm not getting shot for that much in the first place, but I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Let's go for it. Um, not likely. Nope. Uh, overload level and max shields. Not unless the ninja wants it. Uh, you know what? I'll take that. I'll take that trade. Virus points and mines. Nope. All right. That's the end of that. Uh, anything in the store? Uh, maybe. Oh, actually, you know what? That might be worth looking at. Um... That might be worth looking at as well. Let's uh, make a quick save and then find out. So this, 
I mean, that's an odd balance of things, but it's got pretty high levels of all three. Unfortunately, it's only on projectiles, but, you know. Still could be useful. Um... But apparently not. Not really. I mean, not without too many trade-offs. Chain gun's useless at 7. At range 7. If I could increase the range, that'd be one thing. Um, do I want to sacrifice some damage for ammo? Not really. I like it being a pretty beefy hit. I don't want to have to plank at things. And really undercuts its extra handy ability of being able to shoot twice. Um, let's see about this reactor. Attack part all weapons and computer related stats. So reduction there. Twenty-eight percent to all weapons, and this is thirty percent to all weapons. So it's a really small. It's a two percent reduction. But this would be better because it produces less. And I hate I hate these stupid capacitors. Just still hanging on for dear life. Is that worth 2800 or what? I guess it's, you can't take it with you, so you might as well spend it. Huh. Now, that's interesting. That is more compelling, actually. Could drop my damage reduction to zero, which I don't love. But with all that regen and hopefully being out of range most of the time anyway, maybe it's a non-issue. Most things can shoot me to death instantly anyway, so I kind of don't care. Um, versus this, uh, yeah, not so big a deal. But on the on the siege, it's a very good deal. All right, load by put it on the siege here. Yeah, I mean eighty four damage. Re How is my why was my eighty four damage reduction? Why is some of the math pro pre processed and some of it's post processed? Because that's apparently the only source of damage reduction, but it says plus 84, which it's clearly not. It's 143. Uh, weird. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Not bad. Not bad. So, uh, maybe we'll do another... Uh, I think maybe that's why I was trying to get down here as well, to see if we could do... Uh, some of these difficult missions, the assassination and the lion's den. Is there another assassination in here somewhere? I think that was the last one. Um, all the ones connected will be destroyed. Okay. So maybe we'll do these three. Try and get the assassination and lion's den done before the end. We'll see. Okay, we'll find out about that next time.